students welcome to our youtube channel experience tutor today we will discuss ncrt solution for physics chapter 2 unit uh, units and measurement part 2 and here is our welcome message before we begin we request you to subscribe like and share our channel to your friends and relatives please click on subscribe button to support us and also click on the bell icon so that you can get automatic notification whenever a new video is uploaded now let us begin with the lesson so question number 2.4 explain this statement clearly to call a dimension quantity dimensional quantity large or small is meaningless without speci specifying a standard for comparison in view of these reframe the following statement wherever necessary atoms are very small objects b a jet plane moves with great speed c the mass of jupiter is very large d the air inside the room contains a large number of molecules e a proton is much more massive than an electron f the speed of sound is much smaller than the speed of light so let us understand this thing step by step so the first part of the question the given statement is true because a dimensionless quantity may be large or small in comparison to some standard reference for example the coefficient of friction is dimensionless the coefficient of sliding friction is greater than coefficient of rolling friction but less than static friction so this is one of the example now we have to change the sentence for the first sentence we can write an atom is so let us see the question again atom is very small object so we can write an atom is very small object in comparison to a soccer ball cricket ball etc a jet plane moves with great speed so we can write a jet plane moves with a speed greater than that of a bicycle third the mass of Jupiter is very large mass of Jupiter is very large as compared to the mass of cricket ball now d air inside the room contains a large number of molecules as compared to the present in geometry box a proton is much more massive than an electron so no change into this sentence because it is already com given in comparison f the speed of sound is much more sm smaller than the speed of light so it is also given in comparison so no changes now let us see the next question 2.5 a new unit of length is chosen such that speed of light in vacuum vacuum is unity what is the distance between the sun and the earth in terms of new unit if light takes 8 min minute and 20 second to cover this distance so let us try to solve this question number 
5. So, we can write distance between the sun and earth is equal to speed of light multiply by time taken by light to cover the distance. So we can write uh, and again it is given that about the new unit that uh, given that in new unit speed of light is equal to one unit time taken t is equal to 8 minute 20 seconds that is 500 seconds therefore distance distance between the sun and earth is equal to 1 into 500 that is 500 units 500 units. Let us see the next question. Which of the following is the most precious device for measuring length? A. Vernier calipers with 20 division on the sliding scale B a screw cage of pitch 1 mm and 100 division on the circular scale and an optical instrument that can measure length to within the wavelength of light So let us see the solution here. Two point six two point six. So a device with minimum count. is the most suitable measuring length so this is the formula
minimum count is the most suitable to measure length so list count of vernier calipers pers is equal to 1 standard division minus 1 vernier division so 1 minus 9 upon 10 that is 1 upon 10 that is 0.1 cm now list count of screw gauge list count of screw gauge is equal to pitch upon number of division divisions is equal to 1 upon 1000 that is 0.001 cm list count of optical device device is equal to wavelength of light of light which is 10 to the power minus 5 cm which is equal to 0.00001 cm hence an optical instrument
is the most suitable device is the most suitable device to measure length length so it is done let us see the next problem now 2.7 a student measures the thickness of a human hair by looking at it through a microscope of magnification 100 he makes 20 observations and finds that the average width of hair in the field of view of the microscope is 3.5 millimeter what is the estimate of on the thickness of the hair so let us try to solve this so 2.7 magnification of a microscope of the microscope of the microscope is equal to 100 average width width of the hair in the field of view of the microscope is equal to 3.5 millimeter therefore actual thickness is equal to of the hair of the hair is 3.5 upon 100 that is 0 0.035 millimeter And this is the end of today's topic. Please subscribe, like and share our channel. Please click on the subscribe button to support us and also click on the bell icon to get automatic notification whenever a new video is uploaded. Thank you for watching our video. Keep watching. Thank you very much.